This video is detailing the physical installation of a DARB MK2 ES swing gate operator. The standard adjustable bracket is suitable for square posts from 90mm to 300mm square. What you need to do is obviously drill and tap the holes where the fixings will be located on either side of the adjustable bracket. Once you've drilled and tapped the holes, fix the bracket up in place and offer up the MK2 into place. There's a very reasonably tight fit into its bracket. And once there, you need to fit and drop the bolts into place from the top. This will require two people in general terms as it's quite a heavy operator. Once you've done that and you put the nuts and bolts in place, ensure that the bolts are sufficiently tightened in place to prevent any movement of the operator. This is a single phase operator denoted by the capacitor. Over here you can see the cable entry point for the motor. And at the front of the Dabo K2 we have the encoder located. These two pulleys are the drive from the motor and then the transmission belt to the main drive. If you rotate the motor pulley as such, you can see they'll rotate the arm at the same time. In order to make it quicker, we generally use a drill with a socket head adapter onto it and allows you to move it. Over here, the arm has been fitted and attached to the swing gate and we can obviously check for the movement of the gate under our control before we put the main power running onto the system. It's usually recommended to drive the gate shut and then drive the gate open again afterwards just to ensure that there isn't anything untoward happening with the arms. Once you are happy with the arms, you can then finally do the final fix. Please ensure that when the gate is in its closed position, that the motor arm, that's the one attached to the motor itself, and the crank arm are not in a straight line. Once, they, once you have your final positions, you can then wire the motor in and wire it into the EP104 to control board as shown in this example. <laughs> 